discipline of nursing has a rich legacy of recognizing and supporting clinical excellence. When nurses were trained in the hospital, earning one's nursing cap was a hallmark of the beginning of their clinical training. Similarly, in medicine, the white coat ceremony, established by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation in 1993, is designed to advance humanism in medicine. As the foundation asserts, through ceremonies and rituals, society passes on its values and publicly acknowledge the importance of certain transitions in the lives of its members. Such events provide inspiration and help to outline society's expectations. Therefore, the purpose of tonight's commitment to excellence ceremony is to facilitate a sense of community as well as establish a transitional experience to provide guidance and support to our nursing student colleagues as they're beginning and continuing their clinical rotations. Tonight's ceremony recognizes over 200 ABSN students' collective pursuit of excellence. It is our hope that our student colleagues will always pursue excellence, engage in lifelong learning, seek the truth, and strive to be more than just a nurse and to be anything but a mediocre nurse. mediocre nurse. This year's Commitment to Excellence student speaker is Elizabeth Holling. A native of Wisconsin, Ms. Holling earned a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education from Carroll Uni University. Prior to entering the ABSN program, Ms. Holling was a kindergarten teacher for two years. In her ABSN admission personnel, personal statement, Ms. Holling talked about one of her favorite philosophies in life. That is, do what you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Good evening, colleagues, faculty, family, and friends. On behalf of the students at the Duke University School of Nursing, I would like to welcome you to the historic Duke Chapel and to the third annual Commitment to Excellence Ceremony. Aristotle once said, Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. By sitting in these seats today, you chose to be excellent. It was not by chance that you were accepted to this program and now find yourself here today. The faculty saw something in each of us that made their choice quite clear. They look for and demand excellence, and each of us has that in us. You are not here by accident. And now, as I embark on my final semester of this crazy journey, I can assure you that the choice you made in coming here, the choice to embody excellence, is going to be the best decision you have ever made. I encourage you to write down the three reasons you decided to come to Duke and to be a nurse. Post it somewhere where you'll see it frequently, and read it every day. Remind yourself that this is worth it because you will soon see that truth begin to unfold. It was in second semester when I participated in my first code during clinical. I was brought into the room and immediately recognized as a Duke student and was asked to begin compressions on the patient. I did so with three of my colleagues for nearly 75 minutes. Unfortunately, this patient didn't make it, but we were able to keep her alive long enough for her family to arrive and say goodbye. What a gift we could give to that family, a sense of closure. Afterwards, the doctors told us how well we handled the situation and that Duke students are respected far above other students they have on their floor. We have learned from the best of the best, but now it is time to fly. When you walk out the doors, it is time to show the world the true excellence that the Duke University School of Nursing has instilled in us for the past 16 months. We are going to scatter ourselves around the country and around the world, but we will be elevating the standard of practice wherever we go because we know what it means to be a nurse, a Duke nurse. We carry the Duke name with us, and we owe it to ourselves, to our faculty, and to our friends and colleagues to carry that name with honor. The Duke nursing mission statement talks about creating a center of excellence for the advancement of nursing science, where students and faculty are enhancing the quality of life for all people. At this time, I would ask my classmates, the faculty, and all nurses in attendance to please stand and join me in reciting the ABSN Commitment to Excellence Pledge. As a nurse, I commit myself to care for each person's needs in a holistic way, putting their needs first at all times. I commit to serving both the individual and the family, helping them attain and maintain optimal health and well-being. I will be accepting and will not judge an individual's values and beliefs. I commit to working collaboratively with other members of the healthcare team 
to provide quality, evidence-based care. Please be seated. Everyone here in this room has excellence in them. That is why you are sitting where you are today. Allow this program to mold you into the type of nurses that Duke is known for. We have a reputation to uphold, and it is up to each of us to do that. Follow your heart, be bold, take risks, be compassionate, be safe, be patient-focused, focus on the evidence, and implement that into your practice. Be loving, be a team player, and be excellent. Thank you. On behalf of Duke University School of Nursing, Dr. Turner will now recognize Ms. Holling for her extraordinary insights into excellence. The engraved medallion is our gift of appreciation to Ms. Holling as our third student speaker at the Commitment to Excellence ceremony. Please join me in welcoming or congratulating Liz. 